New tonight now, illegal dirt bikes and ATVs are fueling frustrations in New Jersey. And as CBS 2's Astrid Martinez reports, some lawmakers are trying to crack down on them. Packs of ATVs and dirt bikes roaring onto packed streets are on the rise in Patterson. So we see them often, you know, they're kind of like everywhere. In many cases caught on video, the riders are scaring other drivers and pedestrians. They're running stop signs and running red lights. Residents like Scotty Rodriguez say the issue can be a serious safety concern. Could become a nuisance when it's being like maybe like loud and it's maybe like six, seven, eight, or ten of them, or maybe it's a group of them. Over the weekend, Patterson confiscated dozens of illegal dirt bikes and ATVs, but tracking the offenders is often difficult. Police are prohibited from chasing the off-road vehicles. The vehicles are not registered with the DMV, making them mostly untraceable. In an effort to address the growing problem, Patterson Mayor Andre Seya wants to introduce new legislation, similar to the one Mayor Eric Adams recently implemented across the Hudson. I want to destroy them, just like they do in New York. The city's current law prohibits people from riding the vehicles on city streets and sidewalks. Owners of confiscated dirt bikes and ATVs must pay a minimum $500 fine to get the vehicles back. Patterson is not alone in addressing this noisy and dangerous issue. At the moment, they're not allowed to take the vehicle. So, yeah, they probably will be able to issue some type of fine. Uh, and then you have to hope that person has ID on them and is giving you a correct name. Jersey City Council Member Denise Ridley is also looking to impose tougher penalties. To include ATVs and dirt bikes and allow them to be considered contraband mm -hmm. so that our Jersey City Police officers can confiscate those vehicles. That vote takes place September 8th. Meanwhile, here in Patterson and in South Jersey, lawmakers are working on a measure that would require ATV buyers to fill out a registration form and place a license plate on the vehicle before the sale is completed. In Patterson, New Jersey, Astrid Martinez, CBS 2 News.